invited the ancestors, invited spirit guides, the divine order, supreme most high, nature spirit, all that is in, all that it, all that is within, all that is without, all that is of and because to sit here with us today, to bring down the energy, to uplift the roots, to expose the fruit, to plant the seed. Ooh, I hit something to lean on. It was with my everyday hands that I did this work. It was with my everyday hands that I did this work. I'm talking about fists in the dirt, put on the soil. It is with these hands that I did this work. thought I was just cooking. <laughs> Whew, no, it was with everyday things that I did this work. I'm touching my children's head, bathing their feet. Those are everyday things that did this work. See, when I hung the chicken bones out to dry, that was me. And that's how I asked God why. And when the chicken bones dry and I threw them on the floor, that's how I knew God wanted more. So I gave my offerings and my song and my words and my work in the community. No, see, you got to step into it. <laughs> you got to be into it. You got to be of it. You got to feel it in your bones. You got to let me come through. You know them church pews? They usually red, huh? Yeah. Sitting in the blood of those before us. Bathing in the sacrifice of what you can say Christ. Sitting in the blood of those before us, bathing in the sacrifice of which you can say Christ. When I sit in those red pews, I am covered in blood. I am anointed. Yeah. That's right. It's a sacrament. Living this life. Nowadays, people don't want a leader. <laughs> they don't even want to be led. I'm talking dogma. I'm talking deities. I'm talking God. I'm talking Jesus. I'm talking about whoever you choose. And if you don't choose, what are you led by you? <laughs> Is it morals? Is it just questioning self? Is it purpose? Is it goals? See? Y'all ain't led by nothing. I was led by sacrifice. I was led by work. I was led by tilling the soil of this earth. I was led by raising children. I was led by seeking safety. I was led by duty. A lot of y'all don't have duty no more. No. <laughs> You might say duty to self, but you ain't even selfless. You're selfish. See? Oh, I could say y'all get it, but I don't think the getting is even there.
It is with community pillars that we all stand. It is our foundation of the steps when we walk through the door that leads us all to the shore, you see. It's a rite of passage. Coming in communion under one building, it's a rite of passage. It's a place of gathering for one supreme understanding. It is giving your energy at one intersection to one goal. Community, upliftment, protecting the children. Y'all thought we was just praising Jesus, huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all don't get it. But it's gonna get God. 